Hello, everybody. What's up, you guys? Let me know if you can see me. I know it's a little bit delayed here. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, wherever you guys are in the world. So good to be here with you guys on site to go I know there's hundreds of you guys, probably thousands of you guys that will be joining in in just a little bit. So we'll just wait a few minutes to get grounded here to invite everyone in into the space. Amazing. So today, I wanted to be here. My name is Yuri Choi. I am the designated coach for Psych2Go. And I often do live streams here doing different kinds of uh, workshops as well as meditations and whatnot. And today we actually gather for a really special, special cause. And, um, you know, even though Psych2Go, we want to get involved in as many you know, things as possible where we can help people around the world. It's not always that we can do it. We have the best intention to do so. And with that said, um, recently, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there is uh, a conflict going on in Ukraine and Russia. So today we just wanted to get together. This isn't a political thing. This isn't anything but to really envision world peace together. And I'll tell you in just a little bit why we're doing this. So I'll share with you guys in just a little bit. So if you guys would like, and by the way, I actually have a special guest that I think will be joining a little bit later today. Um, uh, we have, uh, one of the things that I really am passionate about is the fact that I believe, you know, things like meditation and play and art and music, these things really bring together all the people in the world. You know, we don't even have to speak the same language, but with music, with art, we can bring people together. So I have a special guest who will be joining us, um, who should be able to play a part in that really powerfully. So I'll share with you a little bit about that. I'm looking at the chat right now. So just trying to catch up. Um, thank you so much for being here, you guys. So today, like I said, we'll uh, talk a little bit about why we're doing this as well as go through a meditation. So there is, um, you know, there's been studies here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the music here for a second, so just to make sure. Hey, you guys, if you can hear me, please let me know in the chat that you can hear me um, and just say, yes, we can hear you or psych to go something in the chat so that I know that you're present there and you can hear us, you can hear me. And um, yes, uh, by the way, you guys, a really quick, um, quick announcement from psych to go I do want to let you guys know you are absolutely right. Um, psych to go Instagram um, did get hacked yesterday. So if you guys see any kind of solicitation or anything weird, any, uh, you know, stories that's coming through on Instagram from psych to go just know that that is not us currently, we will let you know, 
Um, and it'll be loud and clear when we do have the account back. So just want to let you guys know that. Just be careful of that, you know, spread that message. So, um, you know, we can make sure that no one is um, no one is looking at the Instagram thinking it's us because it's not. <laughs> so um, really quickly, I'm curious. This is something that I love to do every time I do a live stream like this. Hi, Vlad. How are you? Good to see you. I saw your name really quickly. Um, please let us know where you are joining in from. Um, today, we're going to sp spend about a, you know, the next hour, an hour and a half together. It's going to be really, really powerful. It's going to be really, really special. Um, and I'm curious where in the world you guys are joining in from. Would love to hear from you. So please, you know, um, you know, chat, uh, chat us where you're coming in from and would love to hear from you. So today I'm actually in California. I know that I've done live streams here from South Korea before. Today I am actually in, um, in Southern California joining in from here. So we have Italy, we have Colorado, we have Iowa, we have Philippines, Bangladesh, UK, uh, India. Wow, Sweden, amazing. Yeah, look at all these people. And if you guys are in Ukraine right now watching this, look at all these people who've joined in live right now to support to support world peace, to support y'alls, to support, you know, just people um, who's promoting peace. Amazing. There's people from Japan, South Africa, Germany, literally from all over the world. This is amazing. This is so amazing. So um, for those of you who's just joining in again, my name is Yuri Choi. And the reason that we are doing this today um, is because there's a conflict going on in Ukraine right now. And this isn't a political thing. This is really about protecting the innocent people, promoting peace, and really just showing up for each other. Because I believe that we have a powerful platform here on Psych2Go where we get to do this, where we get to come together and rise together, especially during difficult times like this. And this is something that I'm really passionate about. For those of you, and by the way, me being an empath as well, it's been an intense week. I don't know about you guys, but even leading up to this conflict, this really intense conflict, horrible conflict in Ukraine, um, I was like having really crazy dreams. I was, you know, just really feeling a lot. And I was like, and there was so many of us who are empaths, who are feeling this way, who are feeling really intense and we didn't know why. So when this happened, I was like, oh, wow, this is what we were feeling into. So if you guys have been feeling this even prior to this, um, you know, war happening or, you know, in the last week, especially in the last week with all the, you know, uh, violent footages and all the things going on, um, I'm with you. And this is actually a powerful way for us to be able to transmute this energy um, of, you know, feeling these intense emotions throughout this time. And one of them is to really show up for one another, to transmute this energy into something powerful, to a cause that actually brings more love and peace into this world. So if you guys are hearing here right now, just know that this is an opportunity for you to do that. Yeah, so I, I'm just um, I'm just looking at the chat. It's going by really fast. So I'm just really trying to catch up here. So um, with that said, one of the things that we get to think about is, um, well, let's talk about it in three different layers. And we can start with the individual layer. This is a time that we get to really, really focus on self-care even more. Um, you know, do the things that keep you grounded, do the things that keep you, you know, happy and just calm and peaceful because all of this energy does add up to the collective. You know, when you are grounded and when you are centered, you're going to get into less conflicts on a very micro level. And that's actually really powerful as well. The next thing is looking at it as a community or um, even country, 
see what you can do within your country, within your community to seek out like who you can help, whether it's this particular cause or someone else, something else. It's a really powerful way for us to be able to transmute this energy into something even more powerful. And then obviously on a humanity level as, as uh, people of the earth, I mean, that's who we really are. We're all connected that way. We are just one big, you know, group of people who are getting through the next hundred years together. And here we are, you know, causing so much conflict and tension that's not necessary. So in that moment, also, you know, seek how we can potentially help people all around the world and how we can help each other. And right now, the thing that's really close to my heart is this conflict in Ukraine. I literally didn't think it was going to happen. And then I can only imagine how scary it was for the people who woke up. I actually just spoke to um, somebody in my network on Facebook about like what was really going on in Ukraine. And um, this it really broke my heart. You know, this person, literally him and his family, they woke up to bombings, uh, like, you know, rockets just landing in his city at five in the morning. And I know that this isn't the only conflict that's happening in the world, but for some reason, this is really pulling at my heart. It just feels so close to my heart for some reason. I can't believe it's happening. So um, yeah, I ended up having a conversation with this person about what his experience is real time. And it was really eye-opening because we think, I mean, we think we see certain things on the news or whatever. And, you know, there's all these talks about whether what, how much of that is true or not or whatever. But like when you talk to an individual who's actually going through that real time right now, they're sitting in the shelter, sitting in fear and sitting in anxiety, sitting, wondering what is wrong with humanity. Um, you feel it too. And not that, you know, this is to bring anyone down, but like there, I really promote this idea of oneness and that oneness isn't always going to be light and love, even though at the end of the, you know, at the end of the day, it is like in the bigger picture, but like, sometimes it is just sitting with the pain of what's really going on in the world together. And that's also oneness. Um, and not that you guys have to sit in the pain right now. We're really here to elevate the consciousness, elevate the frequency here together. There's actually, I know um, there's a lot of you guys who were questioning, like, what is a meditation going to do for the war? Well, there's actually um, a specific research that's been done that when, you know, enough people got together and they did these kind of mindfulness exercises, they were actually able to shift into higher consciousness, literally decreasing the rate of crime by like 16%. And during, you know, times like this, when things are really, really, really intense, it was actually shown that it could, um, you know, it could have a huge, huge significant impact on, you know, these violent situations around the world. So my intention today is for us to First of all, feel that level of peace, feel that level of joy, feel that level of harmony within ourselves, and then really intentionally project that feeling out into the world and sending love specifically to people in Ukraine who's sitting there right now, people in any situation for whatever reason that they are feeling attacked or uh, powerless, let's send love to them as well as people of Russia too. I mean, most people, from what I understand, most people in Russia who are, you know, not a part of this, they don't want this either. There's a ton of people in Russia. There's a ton of people around the world who want peace as much as people in Ukraine. Um, so this isn't about, you know, Ukraine versus Russia. This is really about promoting peace and promoting um, the love that we get to create in this world together. So I just want to make that super clear. I'm just going to look at the chat real quick before we go into the meditation. People are above the government. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I pray for all humanity as well, Fatima. Um, and, you know, someone wrote here, which country made a mistake? Today, this isn't a discussion about that. This is a discussion about how we can actually 
shift this energy of violence and terrorism or, you know, whatever, you know, is going on in the world, not just in Ukraine, to really be able to bring this back to peace? Yeah, um, I'm just looking at some of uh, the chat here. So let's, um, so if you guys are here today, um, go ahead and, you know, put in the chat, I am here for world peace. I'm praying for world peace. I make a stand for world peace. Let's go ahead and put that in the chat. Let's see how powerful it is for us to come together and really intention, like really declare this intention together. And I want the chat like overflowing with this energy. I am here for world peace. I am here for world peace. I am here for world peace. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Look at all of these people who are here to make a stand for world peace and for Ukraine today. Yes. And if there's anyone in Ukraine who's watching this, please know that we are here for you. Those who are getting impacted by a situation that you don't have control over, we are here for you. Yes, I'm here for unity. I'm here for world peace. Oh, this is so beautiful. Like I'm getting teary eyed here. This is beautiful. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yes. Oh my God. This is so, so, so powerful. And by the way, um, I will be sharing some resources at the end. If you guys do want to contribute um, in a specific way for Ukraine, um, we'll go ahead and include that in the chat or the comments. So that is a resource that we will be providing. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you all for being here to really intentionalize this. This is really, really powerful. Whew. Yeah. I am here for world peace. All right, you guys. So today, um, and for and I would love to be able to share this with people um, in Ukraine who's sitting there right now, just scared and not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow or in the next hour even. If you have a message for them that you want to send out of love, and this is very, very intentional, if it's out of love, feel free to put it in the chat because I would love to be able to share some of these messages with them directly. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So go ahead and keep sending that. This is so powerful. Please continue to send all these messages in the chat. And when you like type this, like feel into it, like pour your love onto it, like put some energy into it. Yes. All right, beautiful. So we will continue this. And meanwhile, let's go into a meditation here. And like I said, at the end, I will also have um, a guest speaker who will be joining us who will be singing a beautiful song around this vision that we get to hold around world peace and what we really get to create in this world the vision that we get to hold for humanity. All right, you guys, so let's go into this. This is gonna be so powerful. There's hundreds of you guys, potentially thousands of you guys who will be watching this later as well. And wherever you are in the world, just know that like there is this collective energy that will start to shift what's going on in the world and believe that. 
you just believe it for a second. Even if you, even if you're not too familiar with this type of research out there that has clear evidence that this works, just play into it for a second and see how it can potentially help us. All right, all right, you guys. So we're gonna go into uh, the meditation here. And I will also be um, sending, I will also be sending some resources here so you guys can look into that directly for Ukraine as well. All right. So um, let's go ahead and get grounded. Continue to send the messages. If you're not participating in the meditation for whatever reason, but if you are, I really, really would like to invite you into this um, global meditation here today. So go ahead and get grounded. Let me know if you can hear me. So let's go ahead and get started. Just kind of rub your hands together, creating some heat, creating some energy here. Maybe place it in your heart, just getting connected to your heart for a second today. Behind all of this that's going on in the world, behind all this act of ego, act of greed, whatever we want to call it, act of violence, there is something that's deeper within us. It's our heart, that's our soul, and there, when we meet there in that place, we are all truly connected. So feel into your heart, see what it has to tell you today, see what it wants to speak through to you today in this meditation, and connect your heart to your truth, whatever that means for you in this moment. And when you're ready, you can release your hands if you'd like. Go ahead and close your eyes. Go ahead and place your feet to the earth. Go ahead and place your feet to the earth. Get grounded here. Know that we are all here on this earth. We are all rooted here on this earth. There isn't one person in this world that is not. There's a reason that we are grounded here on this earth together. We are on this planet as one humanity. So reminding us of that and really getting grounded into that intention. Ground your roots to the earth. Extend your spine. Extend your spine as much as you can. And then go ahead and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Relax your jaws. We hold a lot of tension here. And check into the space in between your temples and fill that area with white light. Go ahead and relax your limbs, your arms, your fingers. And stay grounded here and allow the earth to hold you and nurture you and come back to who we really are. These angels, these earthlings. And we are here today to pray and meditate towards peace and love. Cutting through all these layers that don't matter, we're going to go straight to the thing that matters, which is our core of who we really are this love that exists in us, that's so deeply ingrained in us. You might feel your body start to tingle or get warmer here as we connect to our truth. Allow that heat to just radiate. And just be, take a few breaths here, take a deep inhale filling up all your lungs and exhale. Let's do a powerful inhale together as a collective. Take a deep inhale in through your nose, fill up your lungs and three, two, one, hold at the top and exhale. 
Let's do a few more. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Take another deep inhale. And exhale everything out. For a moment here, take yourself to a time that you felt complete peace and abundance in your life, in your own life, in your own body. Think about a moment you felt so much love for another person, or you felt so loved by another person. did that feel like in your body? What did that feel like in your heart? What did that do to your breathing? What did that feel like in your stomach to feel completely loved or have abundance of overflowing deep deep love for somebody. Tap into that energy, tap into that feeling where nothing mattered except for that love that you had for that person or that thing, the cause, whatever it is. This is the process of helping you remember what love really even feels like to connect to that frequency, to connect to that feeling in our bodies. We can't pray for something that we don't remember what it feels like. So we get to feel that in this moment right now. Where were you when you felt so loved? Where were you when you just felt so peaceful in this love? in that situation right now as if it's happening and allow yourself to feel this completely in your body. Now with that loving intention and the feeling in your body that feels so real to you in this moment because it is Imagine that wherever you feel this love in your body, there's this bright light that's radiating through your body. Maybe it is this giant ball of bright light in your heart. Maybe it's in your stomach. Maybe it's in your head. Maybe it's in your throat. Wherever you feel this love in your body, envision it with your eyes closed as if there's bright light that is hovering, that's covering, that's centering you to that love. Where do you see that bright white light of pure unconditional love in your body where you feel this right now? Maybe it's scattered throughout your entire body. Maybe it's in every one of your cells. Maybe it's in your bones. It's in your muscles. It's in your hair. Wherever you see it, just really, really connect to that white light within your body where you feel this love. Once you can envision it, once you can feel it, once you can feel this energy of love in your body as white light, go ahead and rub your hands together as we did before. You can keep your eyes closed here if you like. And go ahead and imagine with your eyes closed that there's this bright white light between your hands and channel all the 
white light that you saw and felt, smelled, whatever it is, in your body, that pure white unconditional love energy, and imagine that you are channeling that between your hands and you can feel it, you can see it, it's this bright ball of light. Stay here and breathe for a few minutes, really getting connected to this bright white light between your palms. You might start to feel this area between your hands, between your palms get warm and hot as you really connect to this radiating love energy. Imagine that you allow this bright white light energy to float and you're sending this pure white light energy to the people in this world who forgot who they really are. Who are acting out of fear were acting out of greed or ego and they ran out of this white light love. Take a moment to send this energy over to Ukraine, any world leaders that could use this love so that they can shift into who they really are. Reminding them powerfully what they are capable of when they really remember who they are. Send this bright light energy to the people who are suffering, who are scared. Imagine that this light is floating into the ether, traveling across the world, and landing on the people who need this the most. Imagine that they can receive it, they feel it. Maybe it's the people who's hiding out in the shelters in Ukraine. Maybe it's the soldiers who get to have a change of heart. Maybe it's the leaders of the world who are inspired to do something to bring more peace into this world. Send us love to somebody specific that you can think of. And once you've sent that over to the person, imagine that person feeling that same energy that you felt in your own body for a moment or maybe for a day, for an hour, or the rest of their life. Imagine them receiving this energy and all of a sudden they start to feel this peace. Maybe they drop their weapons. Maybe they change their plans for any kind of further violence and they decide to surrender to love, to surrender to peace. What would that look like? emotional would that feel for them in that moment when they decide to do something different so that they can align to world peace and love. Imagine somebody who's having that shift in their energy because you sent them love, because you reminded them what's possible in this world.
conflict to an end. I imagine people who get to leave this shelter forever knowing that even though this whole violent situation happened, they're safe now, they can rebuild now, and they can feel the love from all around the world to start to rebuild their life and their country. And they're so happy, they're, they're just really joyful that this is over. Imagine these specific scenarios in your mind. What would that look like? What would that feel like? And once you can feel that energy shift, allow that to inspire you, allow that to move you, knowing that you did your part in creating this energy in this world. And allow that to move you. Oof, I'm feeling so much warmth in my body right now. I don't know if you guys can feel that. And for those of you who's just joining, thank you for being here. We are sending, we're sending love to people in Ukraine, to people who are suffering in this world to intentionalize world peace. Take another deep inhale in and exhale the love out. deep inhale and exhale and take another deep inhale and exhale everything out now from this place I invite you to open your eyes even if you were able to envision one person having a change in their heart it's a powerful thing there's hundreds of you guys thousands of you guys who got to really intentionalize this love intention for the people really needed today from this place i invite you to come back get settled back into this reality and if you would like send a heartfelt message to people in Ukraine in this chat, whatever you want to say to them once again, or anything that came through for you around what you saw or the love that you felt, go ahead and share in the chat. Yeah, I, I almost started crying as well. I am like sweating right now, just feeling all this love energy from all of you guys. Like I literally feel it. Do you guys feel that? Did you feel that shift in your own energy? And to envision somebody feeling that as well that was really powerful yes i could feel so much warmth as well wow Let's really powerful because that means that you had a shift in your own energy 
And in that alone, that's really powerful, as well as now you're really sending that to Ukraine and the people, all the people who's promoting and wanting peace, which is honestly majority of the people in this world. Yes, yes, yes. We are angels of love. Yeah, you could feel the energy forming between your hands. Yeah, amazing. So, um, no, I, I believe that everything will be okay. That's a really powerful message, no. especially at 1 a.m. Yes, I want them all to go home to their families. Yeah, please share in the chat, like, what is a vision that you hold for the world today? What is a vision that you hold for the people there? What are some visions that came through for you during this meditation? How are you feeling? And please put in your prayer there. And then meanwhile, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and send some links here. So that if you guys are feeling called to do anything additional, and this is not, you know, even through Psych2Go, it's just a link that was shared um, for people who um, need the support. Let me go ahead and pull this up here. Guys, thank you so much for being here. This is so powerful. You guys are incredible. And just know that, I mean, I don't know about y'all's, but I felt so powerless, you know, around this situation and around a lot of situations in the world. And when I really connect with, there's this deep sadness that comes around this level of helplessness. And this was my intention really to do something, anything um, that I feel like could have even a little bit or big or massive um, ripple effect around the world. So for you guys right now, one thing that you could do is maybe share this video with people around you, invite people to pray with you, meditate with you around world peace. I invite you to do something, even if it seems very little, to go do something that spreads this energy, this energy of love that you felt deep inside and you created today because this is really, really powerful when we can actually spread this and actually create this ripple effect. You felt clear, like I'm in spirit of love. Well, that's who you really are. I truly, truly believe that. Yeah, yeah. So hold on one second here. I'm gonna go ahead and send some links. And if you guys are able to stay on for a few more minutes, I might actually have a surprise uh, speaker slash um, music, live music that will be available to promote world peace even more. So feel free to stay for a few more minutes in about 10 to 15 minutes here. And meanwhile, I'll do um, a second here. I'm going to go ahead and send you this link in the chat. So, so for those of you who feel, um, oh gosh, sending a second. I'll go ahead and put it in the comments because um, it's a really long link. Yes, amazing. So meanwhile, you guys, hi, Tiago. Great to see you. Hi, Kumar. So meanwhile, let's talk about this. I'm going to do a mini workshop here on how to actually take a situation like this um, to be able to and transmute this energy into love. One of the things that you guys did today is did whatever you did in your own time, right? In meditation, where you felt the shift in your own energy. Because to be honest, the best thing that we can do in the world is to show up as that energy of love. 
you don't know who I am. My name is Yuri Choi. Um, I am the designated co-chair for Psych2Go. I do live streams here often um, on a monthly basis and for special occasions like this. Um, again, we're here today. Uh, we just meditated. You guys are more than welcome to re-watch this. So for the last uh, 20 minutes or so, we held a collective meditation and really envisioning peace and unconditional love for Ukraine and anyone in the world who is for peace, who is for world, for love, and who um, really want to envision this world of peace together. So it was really powerful. Um, so feel free to watch that if you would like. Um, also, oh, you feel light. Yeah, war ends, peace and love um, realigns. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So that's what we did today. And um, there's people from all over the world. So, you know, tapping into that really quickly, um, feel free to share where you are praying from today, where you are meditating from today. And again, continue to send messages of support and love for people of Ukraine and even people, you know, all around the world, it doesn't matter where they are, you know, people in Russia who are for peace, people in the US who are for peace and we all want to help. Um, and we feel helpless right now. So this is an opportunity for us to create that energy here and that create that momentum, create the ripple effect. All right. So these are some of the things that came up for me, you guys. I allow these difficult times, especially if you're an empath like I am. Um, you guys probably felt a lot during the last couple of weeks, couple of days leading up to this and hopefully you guys feel better now and one of the things that I really try to do is what can I learn from all these different people who's showing up and rising above everything for example when I looked at people like you know people in Ukraine who are staying strong and who's really stepping up to do something for their people and really fighting for their country it allowed me to think about like what is, what is a cause that's so powerful that I would literally risk my life for? It's something that is like such a big thing in my heart that like I'm willing to like go for it. Like I'm willing to let that fire of my soul just like lead me to action in that way. And one of the things that came up for me was actually this, to be able to step up in this space where I get to hold space for you guys as well as hold space to you know, pray for the people who really need it. I mean, this felt like a calling that I could not ignore. And that felt really, really powerful. So this is an opportunity for you guys too. As you watch these, you know, news and footages, it can be really heartbreaking. And that's okay, that's normal, right? Like we're human and we're watching people um, experience this. It's a heartbreaking thing. And also, it's a great point for a moment of reflection of like, what is something that is so dear to my heart that I would fight for it? And connect to that fire. What is something that you are so passionate about that you would do anything for it? And if you can actually connect to that fire, you're able to transmute that deep sadness into impact. That's exactly what I did today. You know, I've been really emotional the last couple of days, like talking to, you know, friends in Ukraine, talking to uh, people about the situation, watching the news. And then I just had to make a decision. I'm like, this feeling is here for a reason. This emotion is here for a reason. What can I do to transmute this energy of sadness into impact and inspired action? So think about that for you as well. Like, what is something that you can do with this? Another thing that really, really inspired me was actually um, watching people in Russia who are clearly for peace rise above and say, this is not us. Like we are here for peace. We are here for love as much as anyone else, right? Because this truly isn't about different countries, you guys. This is just about two kinds of people, people who are for peace and people who are not. And we're here to really hold space and promote and rise with the people who are for world peace. Um, 
here is a link here that was sent by somebody who's actually in Ukraine right now. So if you are feeling called to help, feel free to check that out and, you know, um, do something that really feels like something um, that you want to help with. There's a bunch of different ways that you can help. So go ahead and take a look at that if you'd like. Here's the link here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the comments, or I'm sorry, in the um, caption as well. And by the way, you guys, people who are, this is, um, people who are showing up with any kind of violent messages, you will be not a part of this. Like I, it's not even going to show up in this chat um, and you might potentially get blocked. So please, please, let's keep that intention really, really strong here. And this is a place for peace and safety. All right. And then another way I wanted to really invite y'all to think about as we're moving through these difficult times and a lot of emotions are rising. When I looked at people of Ukraine and what they're going through, and then I looked at my own problems and the things that I was stressing about, it became truly irrelevant. It brought me back to like what really matters in this world. Like who are the people that I would want to call today if there was a war that broke out in my own country? And then I call them. And this, these are the moments that we can actually transmute this energy of fear and sadness into love. Who are the people that I would think today right now who are the people I would want to sit with? And then like, what am I willing to be grateful for that I totally take for granted? Like, you know, for a lot of us, I'm sure not everybody, but for a lot of us, we have the luxury of safety. Most of us don't wake up thinking, oh my gosh, is my city gonna be bombed tomorrow? Oh my gosh, am I gonna have water? Am I gonna have electricity? Am I gonna have, you know, people that I love around me tomorrow? And like, we forget that that alone is such a luxury. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead and connect to that gratitude. And when I was able to connect to that gratitude, oh my gosh, this happened. I was able to show up for you guys. I was able to trans transfer my energy of sadness and fear into love and do something with it, do something productive with it, do something powerful with it, and then actually create this ripple effect with hundreds, thousands of people to do the same. So um, from the people um, of Ukraine, can you guys hear me okay? From the people from Ukraine, what they're telling me is the first thing is we get to spread this awareness of what's really going on because a lot of people um they may or may not know what's really going on so do your own research um oh i'm sorry that it's cutting out i'm gonna go ahead and decrease the sound here a little bit i hope you guys can hear me is that better okay okay awesome all right so um creating that awareness as well as staying grounded staying in a place of love for yourself as well as um being active, proactive about doing the research of how you can help that aligns with your heart. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. And then in just a little bit here, we're gonna go ahead and invite my friend here who's gonna be doing a little, um, share his gift with us here today. So let me see. All right, you guys. So um, meanwhile, tell me, um, share with me a little bit in the chat. If you're here and you stayed for the whole hour, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate all of you guys. Share with me what was most powerful for you. What is a message that you want to share for Ukraine? And then, um, yeah, share with me what came up for you in the last hour. Um, and we'll go into this next session here in just a little bit. 
Yes, the message that was really loud and clear today for me is that there's so many of you guys who are here to support world peace. And it was so powerful. I'm so grateful that y'all are here today. You stay the whole time. I love it. I love it. Yes, thank you. And it, uh, again, you know, um, I invite you to share this video with people who might need it. Um, whether they're feeling deeply, they're feeling deeply this week because of what's going on, or maybe they have never meditated and you really felt something powerful today and want to share that. And feel free to share this video, share, um, you know, anything on, anything on site to go, really, right? I mean, we're all here with the same mission to bring awareness for mental health, mindfulness, and to increase awareness around this and create a community. So we are so grateful that you are here today. We're so grateful that you are part of this movement. Yeah. You saw a lot of spheres of white light traveling around the world. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. You're feeling numb and emotionally detached because of bottling up your emotions, but you meditated and today, yep, you'll feel good again. Yes. You were crying. Okay. And you guys, by the way, if you did cry during this meditation, that's really powerful. Um, a lot of times we hold back our emotions in our bodies and it gets stuck. And that's when we start to feel really stressed and we start to feel heavy and we start to feel not as good. And if we can actually allow that energy to come through in the form of tears, it can actually be really powerful. So, all right, you guys, so we're going to be doing this, um, live stream for about 10 to 15 more minutes. I have a special guest here that I'm going to, um, bring up today. So I'm really excited to have him here. Um, so he is a musician who's traveled all around the world and promoted this idea of peace in different ways. He's um, performed um, to the Dalai Lama. He's performed on BBC. And I'm really, really honored and excited to have him here. And he's going to join us in about two more minutes. So if you're just joining right now and you've been here, I'm so happy you guys are still here. And um, stay on because we have something really powerful. One of the things that I love about music and art and poetry is that it doesn't matter where you're from, our hearts and our souls can feel it. So with that said, my intention of bringing up, um, bringing on my special guest here today is to connect to that energy of love, connect to that energy of play, connect to that energy of peace through music, because it can be a really, really powerful, powerful way for us to come back to our souls. For those of you who's wondering who I am, by the way, you guys, my name is Yuri Choi. I am a, the coach here, designated coach here for Psych2Go. I often do um, live streams here on a monthly basis and for special occasions like this. Um, if you would like, feel free to follow me on my own channel. It's, um, I'll go ahead and put it here. And, um, also, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's at Yuri1C. And by the way, if you guys are just joining in, I do want to give you that quick announcement once again. Psych2Go Instagram was hacked yesterday. So if you see something weird on Psych2Go Instagram, please, please ignore it. Don't respond to them. Don't give them any money. Like, don't do anything weird because it is, um, you know, I just want to let you guys know that's happening. It's being fixed, but I just want to let you guys know for the um, last, like, uh, 24 hours. It hasn't been us controlling it. So just be aware of that. Yes, yeah, so we'll have the artist here in just a little bit. He'll be joining us here in just a little bit. Thank you, Timothy. I really appreciate that. And yes, I feel that too. I'm refocusing my energy. I'm realigning, recalibrating my energy into something powerful. And you guys were all here doing this with me. So I really, really appreciate it. I don't know about you guys, but I start, I'm feeling so like good. Like I, when I was doing that meditation with you guys, I literally felt all of your love energy. Like I was just like sweating. I barely ever sweat ever. Um, and I could like feel the heat of that love and that 
like white light energy you guys were all creating that we were sending to Ukraine and all across the world. So it was really powerful. And I'm so, so grateful that you guys were here to do this with me today. It was just such a beautiful experience. Okay, so you guys wait a few more minutes. We'll have my friend here in just a little bit. Um, we'll just wait a few more minutes here. Um, so right now, you guys, as we wait, let's go ahead and type in the chat. I am here for world peace. I am here for world peace. Let's go ahead and flood this chat um, as if we are welcoming my friend here so that we can go ahead and connect with the power of music here in just a little bit, reminding us of our intention, why we're here today. Go ahead and type that in the chat. Also, feel free to share where you're joining in from, especially if you're just joining in in the last like 30 minutes and we haven't heard from you. So feel free to type that in. Where are you coming from? I am here for world peace. From where? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, I love this. You guys are getting so excited to see the artist. Oh my gosh, he's a dear friend of mine. And um, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. This music is awesome. And um, I'm really excited to show you guys what's coming. I love it. Where are you guys supporting from today? Where are you promoting world peace from? We see UK, India, all around the world. I love it, love it, love it. You're from Ukraine. Oh, thanks for being here. And we are sending you so much love. So much love. Um, you guys, feel free to share this too. If you do happen to have any friends in Ukraine, um, we want them to know that they're feeling supported here. So feel free to share this. Or people in Russia who are for peace. People in America who are for peace. People in India who are for peace. This is really for anyone who has the same intention of world peace together. So please take a moment to share this video with a friend, with multiple, uh, you know, 10 of your family, uh, friends, whoever, so that we can really spread this energy as much as possible. it Ooh, little heart explosion here i love it yes they you guys um if you're watching this from ukraine you are not alone we are here with you our hearts are with you and i hope you guys felt the love that we were sending you today waiting a few more minutes um by the way you guys if you guys would like i um and for those of you who are really in this process of creating world peace for yourself and in the world um this is my new book that just came out so you guys are more than welcome to take a look um, there's two versions. There's like the uh, paperback uh, copy as well as um, ebook. So if you guys are looking for any resources, that's one of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send you guys the resources for Ukraine once again.
right, you guys. So I am so excited because um, my friend is here today. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the music here for a second. All right, so for those of you who are still here, thank you so much. I have a special guest for you today. As I talked about, one of the things that I believe is one of the most powerful ways we can unite and come back to our hearts is through music and art and all of that beautiful stuff. So right now I have a friend who's waiting backstage who's going to come and um, share some music with all, with all of us. His name is Samuel J, and he's performed for the Dalai Lama. He's performed for BBC and all around the world promoting this idea of world peace, love, and I'll let him talk, but um, I am so excited to invite him up here. So we'll go ahead and have him here. Hello. So he's going to come up here in just a little bit. Oh, I think you're sideways. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Let's go ahead and flip that <laughs> so we can see you. And I think you're muted. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. But uh, I can hey everyone. OK, I got it. I got it. You are. Awesome. Greetings. You guys. All right. How's so it going? the live chat that's going off right now, they're so excited to see you here. Um, and Samuel, it's been a while. I'm so glad that you're here. So you're in the UK right now. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Here in England, sending love to everyone. Yeah. Thanks it's been for a lot of super last minute. Yeah, it's it's I'm glad that I was able to come and be present for this. It's a lot of it's great to see so many people coming together, you know, for peace in this time and holding others accountable for, you know, um, for our responsibility, you know, as global citizens. Yeah. Do you, Yuri, are you getting the microphone or yep, can you Yeah, we're can good. We can hear you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So it's coming through. Yay, they're so excited to see you. Um, share with us before you go on, if you'd like. Um, tell us a little bit about you and who you are and where you are right now, what you're up to. Yeah, could you say that one more time? Yeah, just share with us a little bit about who you are, your mission for world peace, um, and yeah, just a little bit about you, if you'd like. Yeah. The for some reason your audio is really loud, but I think I just share a little bit about my mission for world peace. Well, yeah, I mean, my mission really is motivated by um, contributing to, you know, the harmony, if you like, of our ecosystem. I'm, I'm really into, um, you know, uh, contributing to, um, the harmony of the ecosystem, basically through uh, conscious action. And um, I believe we all, you know, have a part to play in maintaining that harmony, that balance, um, both within ourselves and of course with others, how we treat ourselves, how we treat others, um, and how we treat the planet is really the best contribution that we can make. And um, yeah, I've been fortunate enough to be working um, frontline uh, with a lot of world leading uh, conservation groups over the last 10, 20 years that are dedicated to restoring um, the importance, um, you know, of uh, valuable ecosystems. Um, uh, so a lot of ocean conservation and actually uh, a couple of my colleagues uh, were in um, you know, recently in the Ukraine and, you know, we've also been out in Russia and it doesn't really matter, like, the, so much the, the country um, as, this, as it does, this global responsibility that we all have to look after the world's resources, to look after each other. And, um, you know, I write music uh, inspired by, you know, uh, a lot of the of what's happening in the world um, between um, 
you know, in that movement, uh, basically. But yeah. I can't hear you, but hopefully I'm answering the questions. Yes, okay. yes. As but long as you guys can hear music. Then. Yeah, I would love to hear your music. Um, we're just here to intentionalize world peace today. If you guys are just joining in, um, we have people from all over the world who we got to do um, a meditation together. And we're going to go ahead and conclude this powerful session today with a special guest here. His name is Samuel J. And he actually, I think you have a song right around holding this vision for the world. So would love to just allow you to take over the stage and really excited to hear uh, you. Speak. Thanks guys. Yeah, and I can I can find him now here on the audio. So sorry, it was a little bit to answer the questions before that. But yeah, just sending love to everyone. Um, good to be here. This song is called Become the Vision um, for us to create, uh, you know, anything in this world. It's like important to like hold a vision. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one.
send our love and prayers to all those affected by these recent events. I think the real cause of all this is hate. And hate can only be overcome by love. Stay. time again how the power of coming together and unifying is much better than separation. You know, these conflicts, they only create separation. So. These things. Stay. so much Samuel so welcome thank you Yuri for doing this and bringing everyone yeah. together yeah there were a lot of people who were just enjoying your music so much and hope you can look at it later and thank you for just aligning your heart to this mission um yeah I just feel like you know this is a time that we get to do our part even if it's little or big I think we're creating a ripple effect so yeah, I just really appreciate you yeah, you too. A lot of gratitude. Send in love, everyone. Take care. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Samuel. Peace. See ya. All right, you guys. So that is it. Thank you so much for having been here for the last hour and a half or so. Yes, his music is beautiful. So if you guys would like, um, go ahead and follow him on YouTube, Instagram. I'll go ahead and include that in the chat, or I'm sorry, in the chat as well as the caption here. But other than that, thank you for being here. I really, really appreciate every single one of you who showed up with the most powerful loving intention, sat through the powerful, um, you know, uh, meditation and really intentionalize this together. Uh, feel free to share this with other people so that we can go ahead and continue to create the ripple effect. And other than that, I will be back here soon. Um, love you guys so much. Thank you for creating this beautiful space. And from the bottom of my heart, um, love you guys. And Psych2Go is just so grateful for all of you, the audience, the, you know, all the subscribers, anyone who is willing to stand for um, advocating mental health as well as world peace. So I really appreciate all of you. Love you guys so much and sending you lots of love. See you soon. Bye, y'all.